Thank you so much for joining me online. I'm Kevin Hurd, and today I'm here today to talk to you about a very important issue in the tech world, in particular in the mobile world. Hey, T-Mobile users, I don't know if you know this, but you now have the ability to stream until your heart is content. The company is out with a binge on service that essentially allows you and other users to stream unlimited video over T-Mobile to phones and tablets from a number of services like Netflix, Hulu, and Vudu. We've got the full list for you online to check out. Now, normally streaming is the top, if not one of the top ways to blow through your cell phone carrier's data allotment each month. I know I've been guilty of this before. In fact, according to Netflix, streaming video and standard definition DVD quality eats up about one gigabyte per hour. If you're watching HD video using your data, expect to go through about three gigabytes per hour. Here's a hint, don't, don't do this. This is extremely problematic since most phone plans usually have about two to three gigabytes of data to use for the entire month. Now this offer from T-Mobile is a huge leap forward and a major slap in the face too to all the other carriers. But when it comes to being different and customer friendly, that's really the way it seems like T-Mobile has been operating recently. In fact, a couple years ago, they did away with contracts offering their users a more simplified way of paying for service each month. And recently the other carriers such as Verizon and AT&T have also been following suit with that as well. All right, so back to Ben John. Let's talk about some of the specifics to how this works. T-Mobile users can activate and deactivate Ben John in their online account settings. Now we should note up front that when this setting is on, video is going to be streaming at 480p resolution, a 480p resolution. Essentially, this is DVD quality, not high definition video. Video from selected services will be streaming for free and T-Mobile says all other video will stream at 480p as well. Now this is good because as I mentioned with streaming, you'll eat up an additional two gigabytes of data after an hour of streaming if you're watching in HD as opposed to DVD quality. T-Mobile also allows you to use hotspot sharing and binge on together. Now that means you can tether a laptop or a tablet to your phone and use your mobile data to watch movies and shows on those devices as well. Again, though, we're talking about 480p resolution. And really, I think 480p should be fine if you're watching on your phone screen or maybe even a tablet screen. Yeah, high definition, of course, does look better, but if you're really that desperate, go out and find a Wi-Fi connection. I mean, in fact, always make sure that you're using good to strong Wi-Fi whenever possible for your streaming. One, your picture is going to look far better, and two, the connection is faster as well, so you'll avoid a lot of that buffering. Now, this Binge On service is just nice to have on the go or when there is no Wi-Fi available. Now, according to T-Mobile, Bin John does work with family plans. Each line essentially gets their own account and can control settings independently. It does work with at-work plans too. Bin John streaming can only be done in the US right now and is not currently being offered in Puerto Rico. Now, T-Mobile does have a couple other offers for its customers, including 30% off uh, Sling TV each month for a year. This allows you to watch some channels you'd see on cable or satellite over your phone or tablet. And then customers with an unlimited LTE data plan also get one free Voodoo movie each month. They're basically a $3.99 credit when buying a movie through Voodoo. Overall, this is a great move by T-Mobile and hopefully something that will shake up the mobile world even more You know, one day it would be nice to reach a point where all traffic is created equal and data is unlimited, basically a free and open internet. I'll be honest, that's my belief. I think that's the way things should be. Some people may call T-Mobile out on this binge on program for treating traffic differently, which goes against that principle of an open free internet. I think instead we need to applaud T-Mobile though for this move and recognizing that cell phone user habits are changing and doing something drastic to change their service for the better, mind you. I don't know if you know, but Nielsen found last March that 40% of surveyed American homes use a streaming service like Netflix, Hulu, or Amazon Prime. Almost, not quite, but nearly half the country. As the underdog to Verizon and AT&T, T-Mobile has been able to make waves of change, and let's hope the others feel pressured to better deliver on what customers want. Now, if you have any questions, you can go online. All the information is posted right there. I want to thank you so much again for joining me. Have a fantastic day.